Let's look today at some Made in America natural wood grain graphite pencils from USA Gold. Hello everyone. Today we are looking at one iteration of some pencils uh, produced by or under the name of USA Gold. And these I found recently in a thrift store grab bag of pencils as I find so many that way. Uh, these are natural wood as you can see with a light, light uh, lacquer on them. Hopefully you can see that in the in the light, um, but the natural wood shines through. Uh, USA Gold. These also have the Mega Brands name on them with their website. That kind of dates it a little bit, uh, but the USA Gold name has changed hands so many times and so rapidly, going back and forth that it's difficult for me to tell exactly when these are produced and. Really, I think the USA Gold Pencil is only about maybe 15, at the very most, 20 years old in terms of uh, being available. Um, I tend to find them at Walmart at back-to-school time. Uh, I found some at Target in the past, uh, some other natural wood grain. The wood grain ones are a little harder to find. Uh, mostly you see the standard school yellow and I can't believe I don't have one nearby here in the standard school yellow you've seen them before they um, oh there we go this one doesn't have the distinctive ferrule that most of them have but uh, still USA gold America's pencil that was the branding for a while and I think that might still be the branding on the pencils now um, but yellow is uh, probably a little more common more ubiquitous uh, but the ones I think that look the handsomest are these natural wood grain. And these have, as I said, been released and re-released under a uh, number of different corporate names, but still saying USA Gold. And as far as I know, all the iterations of this were made in Tennessee at the Moon Factory, um, the J.R. Moon Company that makes still makes under their own name the uh, Trirex pencils that I love so much. Moon Products, JR Moon, some of, their, some of their pencils say. And they've been making pencils there for a long time. But as the USA Gold brand changed hands, um, Mattel at one point, I think, and uh, I don't know if Mega Brands is a part of that, uh, Rose Art, uh, but it's, it's changed hands, but the same factory has been putting out the pencils and they are a relatively high quality pencil for a kind of a, a budget or a, uh, at most a mid range pencil, um, made in America. They had been made of cedar and I suspect that's the case for these. I'm, I'm reasonably sure it is. Um, but before we get to those, let's look at a few other iterations that I know I have here. Here's a, um, this just says USA Natural, but I think the uh, yellow version of this said USA Gold, but this is labeled with the Rose Art name, roseart.com, and I think that company is who owns it now, but they don't, it doesn't say Rose Art, I think it says Crazy Art, or maybe the same family's involved, but the, the name it's a different company. Um, complicated thing, trying to, to tease out the, the details of that. So here's uh, one iteration. You see a green band on the ferrule rather than blue in the ones that uh, I recently found. Here's, um, I think this one was sent to me by Scott at uh, Thrift Store Bible or maybe Kevin. 
at all his analog, he may have sent this to me, the antimicrobial version. This is a relatively new since the pandemic. I think they were kind of capitalizing on that, even though I don't believe it has any type of antiviral properties, but supposedly has an anti antimicrobial, uh, antibacterial maybe, coating on it. Um, but again, natural wood with a light lacquer and whatever other magic they put in there that kills the microbes uh, has a Sorry, I'm juggling too many pencils here. It has a blue ferrule. Let's compare that to the current. Looks pretty, like, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. There are differences in the coloration of the wood, which you expect from natural wood, so I'm not reading anything into that. Um, okay, and then here's uh, America's Pencil USA Gold, number two with the blue ferrule. And you can see the difference here. I, I could not tell you which of these is a newer and which is an older. I suspect the Mega Brands is an older version, but I'm not certain. Again, I believe all these were made in Tennessee at the Moon Factory. That is still putting out pencils and still making pencils under the USA Gold name. And uh, very nice pencils. Reasonably priced. I would say higher quality these days than the foreign-made Ticonderogas and a better deal in terms of back-to-school pencil. So let's look for a moment at these latest finds. I'm going to sharpen one. I wish you could be here to smell it so you could tell me if you think it is natural cedar use a hand sharpener so that I get a better look at the wood using a Apsara long point sharpener free with the purchase of certain Apsara pencils and a very nice disposable handheld sharpener makes a long point as you would guess from the name coloration here is cedar. The way it holds together tells you it's a quality wood. And that is a strong cedar smell. So maybe because it's a relatively new production and most cedar pencils that I sharpened today are vintage pencils. So they've been, you know, they've, they were manufactured decades ago. So that scent has had time to dissipate a bit. This is a very strong cedar smell. So Definitely cedar. We have the blue foil on the natural wood. We have some kind of designation here. I think they all have the same. There's a P impressed on it. We have a slightly gold-toned ferrule crimped on with a blue stripe. Matches the blue foil imprint. There's a star there kind of set at an angle. That's classy looking. USA Gold Natural, HB2. Nothing on any of the other facets that I can see. But I want you to look at, if you can see this, right here, and I might put some stills of this and some other pencils from this batch. I think they all have this. You can see where two bits of wood were joined together. Get one where it's a little more obvious. This one here, same same pencil, just uh, there we go, right there. Again, I'll put some stills maybe so you can see that. It's um, like they're using bits of reclaimed wood, so maybe not post-consumer recycled, but pre-consumer odds and ends from other jobs. Maybe getting quality cedar is. Well, I know it's not as easy as it used to be, so it looks like they're kind of reclaiming some wood, putting them together, making slats out of pieced together cedar. It's definitely still cedar, uh, but not full cedar slats. They're, they're uh, piecing them together, um, which I can support that. It reminds me of, back to the, uh, sorry, I'm losing my, losing my pencils here. Back to the box of 
natural wood pencils. Ticonderoga has these, or made these for a while. Natural wood pencils, and the same thing is the case here. It's much more pronounced on the Ticonderoga. You can see where they piece together a couple of bits of wood to make that slat. And all the Ticonderogas of this type have that evident. Very similar pencils, aren't they? Uh, foil printing in a solid color, natural wood. Um, funny, I'm not certain this Ticonderoga, though, is cedar. Could be wrong. If any of you have some of those, maybe you can tell me. All right, but let's... Um, Let's give this a try, as we usually do with pencils on this channel. I don't know if the pad of paper I'm using is fooling me, but this feels like a very soft and dark graphite, which I think is wonderful. I've always liked the graphite they use in the USA Gold Pencils, but this seems even darker than normal. Let's try a little comparison. developed a flat spot relatively quickly on that pencil, so it tells me something about the softness of the graphite. Boy, I like this. I like these. Get my focus, or my, my focus locked in a little better there. Let's compare it with, as per usual on this channel, the uh, Dixon Ticonderoga currently manufactured in another country. I'm not sure whether these were the Chinese or the Mexican variety. The Dixon seems to have a little more scratch to it. But I'm not seeing a significant tonal difference. I have a feeling this is a Chinese-made Ticonderoga, so I think tend to be a little darker. A little softer than the uh, Mexican variety. Let's try a... Rose Art. Just a previous iteration of the USA Gold. Got a pretty good point on this one, so. Hmm. And then just for fun, Tennessee Red, Genuine Tennessee Red, one of the finest pencils currently being manufactured in the U.S. Uh, this one by Musgrave. Oh, it's not even fair. Not even fair. Sorry, I'm coming in at a funny angle around the tripod, so my handwriting, as usual, is... Horrendous. Really soft graphite on that Tennessee red. Okay, let's uh, take the 
focus back to normal. I think the old rose art has a has the lightest of them all. The USA Gold Natural and the presumably Chinese Ticonderoga aren't too far off, but I think the especially here at this end you can see it the uh, the USA Golds from today's video seem a little bit darker than the Ticonderoga. But of course, the Musgrave Tennessee Red is a very, very dark soft pencil. So uh, that one is obviously darker. Does USA Gold or Moon Products Mega Brands, Rose Art, Crazy Art, whoever's making the USA Gold now, do they still have a natural wood pencil? I've not seen it in the back to school section, at least of my local Meyer or Walmart. I don't have a Target near me, so maybe one of you can answer that if they still make these. Um, they're just a fine looking pencil. They do a great job. They have been reasonably priced. I don't believe there's any reason why that would have changed. Um, I mean, if you can only find it in the yellow, it's still a nice pencil. Um, you know, not, not an exceptional pencil, but in terms of value, I think it's a better pencil than the Ticonderoga, personally. Made in the USA, as the Ticonderoga is not any longer. Um, so, if you're looking for back-to-school or general-use office pencils, USA Gold still is a terrific option. Uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but still get a good product made in the USA. And if you can find them in natural wood, that's just a lovely pencil, I think. Uh, whether or not it has the uh, the web address on it, it's kind of passe. But um, I think that's that's been gone for a, a decade, maybe. Thanks for watching this review, and I hope to see you here again next time.